What's up guys? Just got something in the mail and I am super excited. New piece of gear. I'm going to show you what it is, why I bought it, and what comes with it. And uh, I'm super excited because it's new for me, but I've been looking at it for a little while. Really stoked for it. So let's head over to the table and uh, I'll show you what's inside. guys here it is so I did open it just so I didn't have to fiddle with my knife um, I haven't um, looked at it um, so what it is so you can see here there we go knife point gear out of PA good old PA so we are gonna just get right into this so Got my packing slip, and this is something that's cool that I like what companies do. Just a little note. It's kind of cool, in my opinion, whatever. So, I am super, super excited for this thing. This is a brand new piece of gear to the market. It's really awesome. There it is. So we'll get this stuff out of the way. There it is. So, what this is, is what they're calling Knife Point. It's from, so it's from Knife Point Gear. And I will put a link to their Instagram and their YouTube um, in the description down below. Um, but this is what they call the world's lightest backpacking saw. And it definitely is that for sure. Um, so it comes in at about 3.9 ounces. Um, I might be a little off. I'm just kind of remembering what the specs. So this is the handle. It's this hollow tube. And it's made of carbon fiber. And then all it is, which is really ingenious. I actually kind of had an idea like this a while back, but I'm not saying I'm... They took my idea. I'm not saying that. I'm just, I just kind of came up with kind of a similar idea, but a different way. So what this is, this right here, if I can get it off. This is a 12 inch pruning sawzall blade. So you can buy these like at Home Depot, Amazon, pretty much anywhere. Um, so yeah, 12 inch and it's got these take this off real quick put that there so what it is whew, that is sharp so they're carbide teeth so let me see if I can focus here now these little teeth have carbide tips so it'll keep them super sharp for a really long time and that right there just for comparison I mean you can see my hand kind of there you go. That's kind of a comparison of how big it is. Obviously, it's 12 inch. That's what it says. But this thing is freaking awesome. It's really ingenious how they came up with this. Um, oops. So let me set up the camera, and I will kind of show you how you put it together. Okay, guys. There we go. So I'm going to show you how this goes together. So these are basically the only parts. There's one missing part that you kind of have to get when you're out in the field. You don't have to, but um, you can. So you got your hollow tube here, which is your handle. And you take this sawzall blade, and it's got a piece of this, um, it's like Dyneema. It's like Dyneema, I can't remember the official name. I'd have to look it up. Um, but it's, yeah, so it's like a really strong piece of paracord, basically. So what you do with this is they've already tied it and they have this little like um, fastener. Um, that's really nice job, knife point gear. I see how you made this all. Anyways, um, so what you do is you take your sawzall blade with this piece of rope on it and you shove it down the tube.
there we go so it'll come out the other end you can see right there maybe yeah so then you just take it and you're going to slide this in to this end just like so so you can kind of see how it fits into that tube so yeah that part of the blade just goes into that really snug fit which is awesome and then all you're gonna do and I'm just gonna show you this for general purposes not I'm not gonna cut anything although a video will be coming out of me actually using this this weekend so soon so I'm just gonna show you what has to happen um, this will work fine so you get like a bit let's say you're out backpacking you'll get like a stick or something about the size of your pinky or in this case a sharpie and you will take it through that loop and then all you do is you just twist it up and as you twist it shortens the cord and gets it tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter um, so yeah you just keep twisting it like that I'm not gonna go too tight because and then what happens is it'll stay like that because of the tension in the uh, cord right here and so you just keep tightening it tightening it as tight you don't need to do it super tight I'm guessing but then you have a full-blown backpacking knife uh, saw sorry and then you have a hole just like that so that is the knife point gear backpacking saw uh, the world's lightest backpacking saw like I said it comes in around 3.9 or so ounces um, and this whole idea is just ingenious because these blades are readily available at like any hardware store you know wherever Amazon whatever they're pretty cheap and then this handle is really nice really sturdy carbon fiber which I like sorry and uh, just the way they use this tensioning system just to do it is is man this thing is freaking awesome oh I'm so excited this is this is cool um, so yeah so this is just kind of an unboxing for you guys just something something different for the channel um, I wanted to you know put this out there for everyone because I'm so excited about this piece of gear I mean this is just came out a little while ago and it really is awesome to see a company a small company like this and to support um, small companies you guys probably saw I uploaded a video about my bino harness which is another small kind of cottage company I actually have another piece of gear on the way right now from another small cottage company so I'm just trying to support those small companies because they come up with cool ideas like that like this um, and it even comes with a blade protector so you don't have to put it in your pack and have it scratch things up great touch so guys like I said I will leave in the description down below a um, link to this product to their Facebook and to their Instagram. Go check them out, go support them. They're a great company. They make some cool products. Right now they're pretty small. They make like leather straps for sharpening your knives and they make this. And they're hopefully coming out with a lot more products because this thing is really, really cool. So make sure to go check them out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we'll catch you in the next one.